I'm Skylar Swinford, Certified Passive House Consultant, and I'm at the Wallingford Passive House in Seattle, Washington, where we just completed the uh, final blower door test on this project. The, the blower door test that we performed on the house is really just, it's a simple uh, fan that we have a shroud and we put it in the door and we, uh, the fan is calibrated so we know how much air is moving through that fan and we uh, create a pressure differential between the inside and the outside of the house. And once we have a, a, that fixed pressure differential of uh, generally we use 50 pascals in, in residential buildings. Uh, uh, so once we're at that pressure differential, we measure how much flow uh, is flowing through the building or what resistance the building envelope has to the, the air um, that's, that's flowing through the building at that 50 pascal pressure differential. And just to give you an idea of how much pressure difference that is, it's roughly equivalent to uh, about a 20 mile an hour wind pushing on all sides of the house. And you know that's kind of the, the fixed established uh, metric that's being, being used and that we then measure the flow through. And so uh, on this project, we uh, brought it up to the 50 pascal pressure differential and then we measured how much air leakage was through it and it was a very very small number in fact we used a small fan in, in the in the hole and that fan was about this big uh, and it was under uh, 150 cfm for this large single family home by building the house extremely airtight it gives us the opportunity to actually control the quality of the indoor air and we actually, on this project, have a ventilation system that's standard feature in all passive house and should be a feature in, in all homes, uh, whether they're passive, built to passive house air tightness or not, and that's a mechanical ventilation system. So when you think of a, a typical house, the way it's really ventilated and the, the air in the house uh, the indoor air inside the home is exchanged with outdoor air is typically by random mistakes and flaws in the building that allows outside air to naturally come in whether it's driven by rain or by stack effect. Without those driving forces in place a house has very minimal ventilation. In a passive house we've created a tight shell and we have control over the energy losses uh, of the building while also having complete control over the comfort and eliminating drafts while at the same time allowing us to bring in fresh air through the ventilation system that's then supplied to the occupants of the home while at the same time pollutants in the home are being exhausted out by the unit and recovering that energy in the process. So it's a very efficient and comfortable way to have very high quality fresh indoor air.